What's going on? I am the newly self-proclaimed king of the Valkyrie Riders. You don't know any Valkyrie Riders. That doth not matter, wench. What'd you call me? I called thou a wench, but by the look of thee, you may be my favorite chambermaid by the evening. I don't think you know who you're roll, talking roll, to. Okay, okay, roll the intro. Roll. Hey, what's up, y'all? So, today's video, it may not be a very popular one. Um, there's a ton of videos out there about clubs and club etiquette. There's a ton of videos that are giving you educational advice about dealing with clubs or how to get into a club or and all that kind of stuff. But I am going to talk about if you're a new rider or if you're a what we call a free rider, an independent, uh, just some basic etiquette when you're around motorcycle clubs. You know, I'm currently not in an MC. I have never been in a three-piece MC. That's the truth. I've been in a one, one-piece RC which is called a rider's club. Um, so that's my club experience. I have friends that uh, are in motorcycle clubs. Important word there, I said I have friends who are in motorcycle clubs. I'll go back to that later and we'll talk about the word friend. If you don't know, most motorcycle clubs were born after World War II. Some before, but most after World War II. Soldiers came back, the wildlife of being in the service, the wildlife of being overseas, they bonded together, all these servicemen. They came home needed a little excitement, so they started what is traditional motorcycle clubs today. Basically, the American Motorcycle Association came out and said that 99% of all motorcycle riders are law-abiding citizens. Well, then you had your outlaws, motorcycle clubs, your outlaw motorcycle groups that came out and said, well, guess what? We're not the 99%, we're the 1%, and that's where your 1%ers come from, which is traditionally considered an outlaw club, clubs who don't follow society's rules. This is not an expose into 1% clubs. I'm not gonna use any club names today. I'm not going to talk about any clubs. I don't talk about clubs that I'm not a member of. There's different kinds of patches. You'll see what's called the soft patch. Soft patch is a t-shirt. You may have a bunch of uh, folks who have a name and they ride around together and they, uh, that's kind of what the club I was in started out. We rode around in t-shirts, then we became an RC. We got approval to become an RC, which is a one piece patch. An RC, one piece patch means you just have one big patch. And you've got the top will be the club's name. That top rocker will show the club's name. Then you'll have your insignia in the center. And then at the bottom, you'll have the territory. Um, most RCs don't have a territory. Their family clubs are what they call an AMA sanctioned club. When I said an AMA sanctioned club, that means a law abiding club, uh, a family club. So you understand if you see a 1% patch or you see a three piece patch, a traditional three piece patch is gonna have your uh, club name, your insignia, and then your territory on the bottom. An independent rider or free rider means that you don't have a club affiliation. I ride with club members from time to time, but I'm not in the club. Uh, I'm not a hang around. A hang around is someone who hangs around the club that wants to get close to the club and maybe one day be in the club. A prospect is a prospective member. It's somebody who is working to be part of that club. They're showing their club brothers and sisters their worth, showing that they can be trusted with the club, with the club morals, with the club rules, that they can respect their brothers and sisters in the club. And have a chance to become a member one day. And then you have your full patch member who will have all three patches, or in the case of an RC, the one big patch. If you're a new rider or you're somebody who's been riding for a long time and you don't know much about clubs, if you're going to biker bars, you're going to places where a lot of club members are, respect is the big thing. And I know somebody's gonna comment and say, well, why should I give them respect? Well, the reason they had them, I'm not going into that. If you don't understand about respecting people and about being respectful, I can't teach you that. Respectful like you would to people anywhere. Uh, I'm sorry, but my father raised me to treat the CEO the same way I treat the gender. So when I go into, let's say, a biker bar, I don't really care who's there. I treat everyone with respect. I'm cordial. I don't go up and slap people on the back that I don't know. I don't go up and try to talk to people I don't know unless they want to talk to me. I'm respectful. I don't walk up in the middle of somebody's conversation. I don't listen to what they're talking about. It doesn't concern me, I'm not gonna be involved in it. One thing I will tell you, never, and I mean never, touch a club member's cut. That's their vest with their patches on it. You don't do that. Don't walk up behind them and touch it, don't ask to see it, Don't none of that. They have worked hard to get that patch, to get that cut, that vest. 
That's not something for you to touch and put your hands on. It's not something for you to poke at, to talk about. It's disrespectful. It's the kind of thing that will get you talked to. Most of the time, they'll take you aside and talk to you and go, hey man, maybe you don't know this, but don't, don't go touching our people. Don't go touching our brothers and our sisters. Don't go touching their family members or whatever. You don't do that. So just so you know, that's something I would not do. One of the things I would tell you, don't go touching club members. If a club member wants to give you a hug or shake your hand, that's fine. My general rule of thumb is I don't shake club members' hands unless they reach their hand out to me first. If they reach their hand out to me first, then I'll shake their hand. If they come in to give me a hug, hell yeah, I'll give them a hug. I just don't go touching people that I don't know. Don't interrupt. Don't interrupt conversations with club members. They have conversations they don't want you to hear. I know what you're thinking. Well, why are they talking in private? I say things in private to people all the time that I don't want everybody to know. I say things to my wife I don't want my kids to know. I say things to the people I ride with their YouTubers I wouldn't want other people to know because I don't want them hearing what I'm saying about what I'm doing. It's just a good thing not to do. Don't interrupt people. It's kindergarten shit. What you learned in kindergarten, don't interrupt, don't touch people and be respectful is basically what I'm trying to tell you here today. The other thing that I think, and I'm bad about it sometimes too, but the word brother and the word sister, those two words mean something different to club members. If we don't have some kind of relationship we've ridden together or we've hung out together or we know each other's families or whatever, I don't call you brother. I especially try not to call club members brother. Uh, club members take the word brother seriously because club members have earned that patch. They've earned to be part of that family. So when they call someone brother, that's a respect sign. That means that they love and they care about this person and they're club brothers and they're going to help them. If in a club, the way it works is if I've got bread and a roof over my head, my brother has bread and a roof over his head. He's got something to eat and a place to sleep. Club members will take care of each other. Club members will help each other's families. That's that's part of being in the club is you help each other out. You stand up for each other. So that's something to remember when you call, say, the word brother and sister. Brother and sister means that person has earned the right to be a brother or earned the right to be a club sister. You have it. I know that's hard for some people to understand. They get their feelings hurt. It really gets their feelings hurt or bothers people when they start to realize when you have a friend that's in a motorcycle club, you're their friend. You're a friend. Okay. Key word there is friend. You're not their brother. You're not their sister. You're not in that club with them. They're going to stand up for their club brother or sister before they stand up for you. That's the facts. That's what they're supposed to do. Their club bylaws will tell them they stand up for a brother or a sister before they stand up for an outsider. And you're an outsider. And that's the key thing for you to remember when you go around motorcycle clubs. You're an outsider. You're not part of that club. They don't know you. They don't know if they can trust you. They don't know what you're about. You're a friend of a club member. You're not in that club. It's important to distinguish that. If you're good to a club members and you're respectful and you're nice to them, they're going to be good to you. They're going to talk to you. They're going to drink beer with you. They're going to ride with you. They're going to do all those things. You're not going to have any issues whatsoever. I just think it's important because there's people who are going to watch this and they're going to get mad. There are people who are going to be like, I don't, I don't have to respect anybody. I don't have to. You don't. You're right. You don't. If you're going to, if you don't go to biker bars, you don't go places where there's a bunch of clubs and then you don't really even have to worry about this video. It, maybe it really wasn't for you. But if you're going to a place where there's a lot of club members and a lot of patch holders and things, just some basic rules to remember. Just be courteous. Basic club etiquette. Treat, treat others the way you want to be treated. And if you're respectful to others, they're going to be respectful to you. You're not going to have any issues. Hey, y'all, thanks for watching. Do me a favor, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell icon so you get notifications when I make these videos. Hey, uh, just a quick talk about, you know, basic club etiquette for non-club members. Just real simple. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that you understand where I was coming from. And uh, if I made you mad, I'm sorry. Um, you can send me a comment or a DM, and we can talk about it. But uh, beyond that, I just want to tell you guys, thank you very much for watching. I want you guys to have a great day. Let's try not to be assholes to each other, and I'll see you all next time.